JT Masit. I'm with the Colorado Radiomix Concrete Association, or CRMCA. I'm here to talk about the procedures involved in the ACI certification for the Concrete Field Testing Technician Grade 1. ASTM C143 is the standard for properly performing slump of fresh concrete. First, make sure you have all of your equipment, including the cone, a base plate, 5 8 inch rod, measuring tape, and a scoop for your sampled concrete. Remember, this test method is only applicable for coarse aggregate up to 1 and a half inches in size. If larger aggregate is used, wet sieving must be performed following ASTM C172. As always, let me remind you that I run a lot of ACI certifications here in Colorado and that get asked which videos to watch or what trainings to utilize. And understand these don't replace your, your training uh, through your company, but with these videos, make sure that they are up to date. So with that said, is this one too? The mold should be 12 inches tall with a four inch opening at the top. The plate should be a rigid, flat, non-absorbent surface free of vibration. Dampen your mold and base plate. There should not be any dripping water on this equipment, which would cause a higher slump than actual. Hold the mold firmly in place by standing on the ears of the cone with the balls of your feet, making sure you don't rock the cone during filling. Using the scoop, fill the mold in three layers, rotating the scoop to distribute the concrete evenly in each layer. For the first layer, fill to one-third of the volume, about two and five-eighths inch up from the bottom of the cone. Rod the layer 25 times through the full depth of the layer, inclining the rod slightly, starting from the outside and progressing to the middle with vertical strokes. In this layer, the rod should be tapping the base plate, but not forcefully causing vibration to get through the full layer. The second layer should be filled to about two-thirds of the volume, which is about six and one-eighth inches from the bottom. In some cases, this is just below where the handle is on the cone. Rod again 25 times through the full layer to about one inch into the first layer, again distributing the strokes across the entire area. Inclining the rod is not necessary. On the third and final layer, Heap the concrete to above the top opening of the cone. Rod the full depth of the layer 25 times, including about one inch into the second layer, distributing the strokes across the surface area. During rotting, make sure to keep the concrete heaping above the rim of the cone. If you have to stop to refill the cone, continue the rotting count from where you stopped. This means that if you stop at 15 rods to add more concrete, when you start again, the next rod count is 16, then 17, and on. After finishing the third layer, use the rod to strike off the surface of the cone by screeding and rotating the rod across the surface. While still keeping pressure on the cone, remove any excess concrete from the base of the mold. To keep pressure while removing excess concrete on a cone with ears, put one hand on the handle on the opposite side of the cone Pick up the foot under this hand and use your free hand to wipe the excess concrete from around the base of the cone. Repeat this on the opposite side. Once excess is removed, keep pressure down on the cone with both hands and remove your feet or the clamps. Lift the mold in a steady vertical motion. The cone should be lifted straight up 12 inches in five seconds, plus or minus two seconds. Do not twist or rotate. Immediately measure the slump. This is the distance between the top of the mold to the original displaced center of the top surface of the concrete. If the center of the top surface is lower than the edge of that circle, you do not take an average measurement, but still measure from the center of the surface. The slump test should be complete in no more than two and a half minutes, starting when the first scoop goes in until the end of the 12 inch pull of the cone. If the concrete shears or part of the concrete falls away from one side of the mass, you must disregard this test and a new test should be performed. Finally, report the slump to the nearest one quarter inch. If you have any questions, please do email us at aci at coloradocaa.org and we will do our damnedest to try to help you out.